Hey guys and gals, Wanderer here, welcome back to Subnautica. And uh, today we're gonna be embarking on a new journey, down south I think. I brought along a couple of things to store over here. So let's see here... Uh, did I...? You know what? Yeah, eight. We're gonna put it over here. Brought some water... and some snacks. Of course, we won't use this unless we absolutely have to. I brought a... brought a nice poster as well. Where we can put that? By our bed, maybe. Let's try it. Let's try it right over here. Maybe beside that. Yeah, there we go. And have our dreams of having a prawn suit over there. And beside that, um... A planner might be nice, right over here. Do I have any titanium up here? Probably not. It's fine, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Alright, let me grab a couple of things to eat here. And we're gonna be heading out. So, where are we gonna go? That's the question, I guess. We're gonna be going down south. And, um, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. Um, I know I want to go south and explore down that way a bit. See what we can find. Engine powering. I definitely want to go and look for some rubies. That's been the goal for the last couple episodes now, is finding rubies. So, we're gonna be trying to do that. Careful now, careful. I wonder what we just hit. I don't really, really rightly know. Okay, so we're gonna be going... ...to the south. Plan is to go a bit further than we've gone before, maybe even hit the edge of the map, I don't know. Um, I've never been that far south before. But we need rubies to increase our depths on our Seamoth and to create a prawn suit. That's the number one goal right now. So we can dive deeper and, uh, do some more lucrative mining, I guess, and stuff like that. So to save you guys from watching, like, hours upon hours of me out here, kind of exploring around and finding places I've already been to, and then realizing I've already been there, and stuff like that, I'm just gonna show you new stuff. So, when I see something new, I'll, uh, go ahead and start recording again, and we'll take a look. There's a big cave over here, probably, huh? Because there's an opening here. Does it go down deep? It certainly does. Is this, um... A different entrance, perhaps, to the Jelly Shroom Cave. Does it actually extend that far? Or is it a different is it a different area here? I don't think it's the same one. This doesn't look like the same opening anyway. Um, we can come over and explore this though. I haven't been here yet. Look at my poor cameras, man. My poor cameras just got just get taken by stalkers every time, man. Stupid stalkers. Alright, let me go and grab the Seamoth, I guess. We'll look over here a bit. I was planning on going a bit further than this, but, in fact, we'll move the whole sub over here. Move the whole operation this way. See if I can dock without sucking here. I always go in backwards. When that- when it, like, sucks you up like that, it like, makes, like, a... I don't know, a sound. It makes a sound, and it's a bit freaky. What in the hell? Well, I guess this is because we're actually, like, <laughs> we're actually, like, on the border of where the water is. It's kind of weird. It's like the shimmery water effect on top is bleeding through. Game is still not quite perfect yet, guys, but that's okay. We love it anyway. It's still really good. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this thing real quick. There we go. Nice, our nice wall shelf there. All right. Go downstairs and dump off the rest of our stuff here. I could just sleep too. It is. It's nighttime. That's sleepy time. No reason to stay up, right? Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet. So between episodes, this is what I was doing. By the way, um, I made a literal crap ton of uh, of various lockers here with like every conceivable name of everything I've found so far. Um, this side is mainly ores and such, and uh, glass, and uh, this side is like uh, mostly... Well, right now I just have a couple of things, but it's going to be mostly like organic materials, I think. And then I don't know what else we'll put over here. I'm sure I'll find more. Find more room for stuff, but we have a lot of titanium. Like, the idea is I want to have enough stuff that I could very easily go and create a new base if I wanted to. Which, this appeals to me very much, guys. This appeals to my hoarder side. You, you guys that have watched me play Fallout 4 
playing Frost. You know how much of a hoarder I am. And, um, and especially, it's even worse in Horizon. It's infinitely worse in Horizon. So, this appeals to me very much. It really does. Okay, uh, that's good. Let's go ahead and sleep for the night, and then I guess we'll get up. I wonder why they added an animation for that as opposed to other ones where you just instantly go through. I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and sleep for the night, and it'll be morning when we wake up, and we can explore that cave. Alrighty, good morning, people. I should not have left the engine on overnight, should I have? That was dumb of me, wasn't it? Yeah, we're burning up power. We don't have to here, guys. Alright, so we need to head dead south here, pretty much. Like, dead ahead south. And look for those caves we were at. Engine powering down. Alright, let's power it down. Let's get some food. Oh crap, put this thing back on. Uh, what's on there? Usually repair tool. Put that there. Okay, good to go. Got our breakfast. Let's get out in the sea moth and look around a bit. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. This is actually, you know, just kind of shallow, so... Shouldn't be too dangerous. So there's a wreck down here as well, huh? There's a wreck over here, too. I, I don't think I've explored these guys. I really don't. Um, I don't think I've been, like, to the south of the Aurora, which is where we are now. Let me get my bearings here and see exactly where we are in relation to the Aurora. Because that's our only real reference point here. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're like, southwest of the Aurora. The Aurora. Say it correctly, please. Okay, there's a scanner room fragment. Or no, it's a bioreactor fragment. Alright, well, we can scan all the things just to scan them, I guess. Oh, I don't have a power in this? Um... I thought I did. But okay. I'm not calling you a liar game, but I thought I had a battery in that. I see you, Sand Shark. I see you. You don't want to tangle with this. I'm telling you ahead of time. There's like nothing in these. Well, we can go inside of here. Anything I can scan? Bit of, bit of choppiness here on the FPS. Just a wee bit of choppiness. <laughs> Maybe I was here already because it looks like I cut through this stuff already. There's nothing in any of these, so I, I think I was already here, actually. Yeah, I was definitely here, because I got this already. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I was here. So the other question is, um, is this just a different entrance to the, the Jelly Shroom Cave, or... or what? Still not sure how that works when you jump in here, but... You know, just don't question it. I think maybe there are just separate entrances. This looks like a similar, but it's not quite the same. It's definitely a Jelly Shroom Cave, though. I'm just not sure if it's the same Jelly Shroom Cave. Like, is this just a different exit that I didn't see before? If I was down here at night, there's a good chance I didn't see it before, you know, so... There's a Sand Shark. There's, there's a, a lava area over there. There's another one over there. Yeah, I do believe I've been here already. Now, there was something I missed, though, over at the, uh... I was told I missed a PDA over at the Degasi habitat, so... I can go and get that real quick. I wonder all, where all the, um, the snakes are at. Yeah, oh, it is up, okay. Yeah, proposed Degasi habitat. Okay, where's it at? Oh, over here. There's a, there's a friendly, there's a friendly sea snake. They're actually not that bad. They really aren't. Just give them a healthy distance, just, you know, give them some respect. 
You respect them. They'll respect you. But I keep telling myself anyway. So yeah, apparently I looked directly at this PDA and then I did not get it. Thank you to uh, my friend... Jo God, fish. Really fish. Thank you to my friend Gerald for telling me that. I'm gonna pop out here and get this real quick. I don't remember them being so noisy. I'm not a big fan of that. This is new music. I don't think I've heard this music before. Alright, uh, so let's go in here and look at this. You just stay over there, man. This is definitely new music. It's pretty cool, I like it. Alright, you stay over there, I'll stay over here, man. Okay, so yeah, PDA. Apparently I looked right at a PDA on a shelf somewhere and I didn't get it. Like... Like I was literally... Right next to it. I hope that's just one of those guys, not a Reaper or something. Dude! Dude! Ah! Jesus! Ah! Dude! Dude, no! We have we have never been uh, you know, at odds like this, man. Holy crap. Um, okay, did he go away? Do not go and bite my Seamoth anymore. Dude, you have got to stop this. You gotta stop, man. You're taking bites out of it. It's not cool. Okay, I'm gonna park this thing away from this guy. He seems intent on making my life hell. Now, I have to remember that I do have... I am not defenseless anymore. I can push him away. Yeah, he was almost clipping through this thing. Oh, right there it is. Abandoned PDA. Come on. Location uploaded to PDA. Paul Twergle's log number two. Dilemma. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, I'm going to go out and get in the Seamoth real quick. And that did you did you bite my see he did. You son of a bitch. Okay. I I am done with this guys. Paul Torgo's log number two. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Now the thing is, I don't know if I can get back out the way I came in. I don't know if I can remember the way out or not. If I can even still see it. I thought it was me no, and it wasn't up that way. I've really already forgotten how to get out of here. The other entrance. We've got time, though. I can look around. Is it over here? This is like, yeah, this is like the back entrance, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I think. Let's be careful. Actually, I have the hull reinforcement, so I think we can actually take a, a bump on, like, a, a rock here and, and be okay. I think. Alright. There's a, uh, scanner room fragment, I think? There's a life pod here, too. Is that a life pod? No, it's it's a bioreactor? Let me check. Yeah, bioreactor. I already have one of those, obviously. Okay, so, um, it's already nighttime again? It wasn't out that long, man. Okay, Paul Twergle's log number two. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. 
Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So... It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knock the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> so, the reason they detoured here was because they were... they wanted to make money, basically. I see, I see. Plot thickens. Alright. Well, I'm going to deposit my stuff downstairs, guys, and then uh, we'll sleep for the night and keep going deeper south. So I'll see you in a little bit. So, okay, so in this log it says that Meta wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, uh, more than a kilometer northeast of here. So if we go northeast from here... We should find a habit, a Degasi habitat, 500 meters below sea level. Um, I don't know if I actually want to go that way or not with this. It's a kilometer away. That's quite a long ways away. So it would be uh, northeast from here. So if we look, I think we're pretty close right now to the cave entrance, right? Like, how far away are we from that? If I can see it anywhere. Let me jump out here real quick and see to make sure I'm starting off from the right direction and all that. Okay, so the cave system starts... Yeah, like, right over here is where the cave is. So, we want to go northeast. So, like, out that way... Five, or one kilometer northeast that way. All right. The problem is I don't really have any way of uh, of knowing how far I've gone, really. I don't think, anyway. We just have to go northeast and kind of pray run into it. That might be kind of excessive to go 1,000 meters that way. There's no map or anything. Yes, yeah, so there's north, there's northeast. There's a northeasterly heading. And that would go... Ah, uh, just way, way up northeast, I guess. It's gonna take us into, like, Reaper territory. Yet I'm still going. Okay, well, this is gonna be a long, very straight trip. Uh, so I'll see you once we're a bit closer out that way. Man, that is not what I want to see or hear whenever I hear a reaper. I'm just doing a bit of, a, like, advanced scouting out here. I thought it'd be prudent to come out and scout in a Seamoth, which I can afford to lose. As opposed to, uh, you know, the big sub. And, uh, hearing reapers out here in the dark. Heart's already pounding. Already scared. And then that guy goes and takes a bite out of me, of course. This is new, though. These are these are new things. I have not really seen these before. This is a new area. Wow, we're like really far away from our sub, aren't we? Ah, uh, you know it's really time to go ahead and go to sleep for the night, so that I can uh, see a bit better in the day. Even though we're 200 meters down, I think we'd still see some sunlight down here. 
make me feel a bit better. Yeah, that's okay. So we're like northeast of uh, the thing. All right, let me let me hop out real quick here, dude. Really, repair it real quick, dude. Just repair it. Those sharks are really annoying for this thing. You know, it takes a lot of damage when they hit it. Oh, you son of... You have had enough, man. Get the hell out. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You're in the way. Collateral damage. You deserved it, though, man. You have to believe you deserved it. Alright, so that's like a that's like a new area back there. I have not seen that before, so I'd like to go over there and take a look around. Um, typically, what I've found so far is that the Reapers tend to be kind of the guardians of the areas. But once you kind of um, get around them, then it, you're like in a new area. Unless you go to the very edge of the map, which is totally different. Are you right behind me, dude? Yeah, you were. Trying to take a bite out of my, my damn sea moth again. My poor sea moth. So we want to go up into- where the hell is it at? There it is. We want to go up into the Wanderer, and then we want to keep going the same way we've been going. And uh, I'll park it over top the mushroom forest somewhere, I guess. After we sleep for the night. Okay. Onward. I left my- I left it on again. I don't think it uses that much power up, though. You know, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. So, is this like a transition to a new area? Like, past the mushroom forest here, we'll transition to a new area? That is what it seems like. So there's the very tops of the mushroom forest. Just, just looking around on all sides out here. I don't want to hit the damn thing. That would not be good. Avoid the reaper and then hit the damn mushroom trees. Was that... I don't hear anything. It's, it's really difficult to see way out there, you know? You... You don't really know. This it, this is like a transition over here. It's like a new area. I can't see anything down there. It's a bit too far away. So I'm going to go ahead and hop out here. Actually, let's turn off the engine and everything. Engine powering down. Let's get to be as quiet as we can here. Oh yeah, this is deep. I do hear him somewhere around here. But he might be pretty far away. So, um... What the heck are these, huh? I may have already gotten a scan of these before. Now that I think about it. Okay, you guys, you guys are... Don't you do it. I'm telling you, man, don't you do it. I wonder if I can get a sample of these. Yeah, it looks like I can. Common bulb bush. This is a really big one. Large bulb bush. Is it a difference? 
No, they're the same thing. Okay, we only need one to go black, back and plant. Does it have any useful properties, I guess, would be the next question. Not really. What are you... Oh, just ball bush sample I dropped. Gotcha. Get some air here. It's not very efficient. Well, this certainly seems to be a new, a new area, a new type of biome. Ah, one of these guys. God, I hate you guys. I hate you guys so much. I really do. Get the hell out of here, Mesmer. Loss of control is so scary, man. It just, it freaks me out so much. What's this? Spotted dock leaf. Is it gonna bite me? No, we're good. Let's see. Um... No, no real uses, I guess, so... I see you there, Mesmer. Coming at me? I will repulse you, bro. Don't think I won't. I'll do it, man. Okay, and we got... I haven't scanned those guys either. Alright, let's go back. We can bring the Seamoth down here. Don't you dare come at me. Oh, Jesus, this thing... Holy hell, they're biting the crap out of it. Jeez, guys, can you stop biting my Seamoth, please? Pretty please? It didn't do anything to you. It doesn't taste good, I promise. Unless you like, you know, titanium, I guess. If that's your thing. Ow! You son of a bitch! I want to like I want to sh I want to like left click and shoot this guy. I really do. They're such assholes! Out of the way, fish. Maybe I'll be safe down here, away from those guys. <gasps> oh my god! Is that a ruby? Is that a freaking ruby? Am I finally gonna get a ruby? Let me pop out of here. Repair it. Oh my god. It's a ru- okay, crap. I should've scanned it. We're definitely going inside of here to look around, though. May very well find some more rubies. I don't know how many I need, but I'm sure we'll need more than one. Well, I guess following uh, northeast towards the Degasi thing paid off, huh? Titanium node. I guess it remains to be seen. I've only found one. That sounds like a volcanic eruption. There could be rubies here, fellas. They could be anywhere. Creature egg? Yeah, small one. No idea what that is. We're gonna pass on it. Okay, are you still good, Seamoth? No need of repairs? Okay, they don't seem to be attacking it down here, which is good. Freaking jerks. What 
Where are you? I didn't I haven't seen that fish before. He's biting stuff, but he's like way up way up top. I think we're okay. There's some uranite as well. Diamonds. Okay, 90 seconds. Gotta head back in a little bit here. Get some air. I'm gonna give myself at least 60 seconds. There's another one. Nice. Oh crap, gotta scan it first. Yeah, essential for advanced stuff. Okay, gotcha. That's what we figured. Yeah, I want at least 60 seconds to get back. Just in case. You never know. Okay, we're full now as well. Are we repaired here? No, not that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Wanna look around over here a bit more. Not in there, it's a bit bit much, but in this trench in general a bit more. Oh yeah, we're full. Okay. So let's um Yeah, let's put stuff over here for now. Can probably chill out on the salt a bit. What I really need are the rubies. And uranite, I'm sure, will be important later on, but I already have a pretty good stock of that. Assuming that's the main thing you use for nuclear power. And I don't know how efficient that is, whether it's worth it to build a nuclear reactor, or like how long a titanium, or a, uh, a nuclear rod would, would last, or anything like that. A lot of unknowns there. And I don't know how much power it provide either, like... It might be better off just... I don't know. Might be a lot more efficient options for power, is what I'm saying, basically. A lot easier options. But I won't know until I make one. There's some more. There's more ruby. Really? It's so my primary directive to blow you out of the damn water. Get away, you stupid mesmer. That's right. I don't have to take your crap anymore, man. It is your primary Get the hell out of here. My primary directive to get all the rubies. See, I was thinking I'd have to go way deeper than this to get rubies, but uh, hey man, this rocks. I'm certainly okay with this. There aren't tons of them here, but there are enough, that's for sure. What is this? Metal salvage, okay. Should probably head back and dump off what I've gotten here. Gonna try to fill up real quick with anything else I can get, and then we'll head back on the Seamoth and drop off our stuff. I don't... I've not found a use for those creature eggs yet, so I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, let's go back. Still in good shape? Yeah, you're still good, Seamoth. All right, let's take our haul back over to the Cyclops. Where the hell is the Cyclops? The way... there it is. The waypoint goes away, I think. It's really dark out here. It's rather unnerving. Don't, don't hit the Cyclops, talk with it. There you go. Captain. Systems online. Okay. Let's dump off our stuff. It is, it is like daytime, it's just, this area in general is just really dark. You just can't see much. Okay, I'm gonna have to make more of these, I do believe. Um, although I do have one here specifically for rubies, which makes me happy. 
now put some rubies into my ruby locker here. We've also got some uranite, and where does that go? Over here? Yeah, so I've already got a decent stock of uranite over here. Diamonds as well, yes. And silver and gold. Lead and lithium. Okay, yeah, it's very good. Let's get something to eat real quick, and um, we'll keep going. Keep looking around down there and getting more stuff if we can. I'm, I'm totally fine. I don't hear a reaper or anything, so I'm totally fine. I just, like, stick around here and uh, get, all the, get all the stuff that we can, basically. Okay, well, that's... Oh, I didn't... Crap, I didn't, um... I didn't unload the sea moth yet. I don't know if you can actually access the, um, storage thing. I kind of doubt it. Like, while you're in it, I don't think you can. Can you, like... No, you can't go up here. I didn't think so. It seems like this is kind of the area where rubies start to form. So I'm kind of curious if I go even deeper, will I find, like, an even greater concentration of them? Here we go. Yeah, more rubies over here. More stuff over here in general. Gosh, some latency there. Hi, guy. How you doing? I'm gonna explore your caves over here, if that's cool. Just here for your rubies. Don't, uh, don't bite me. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, hello. Alright, I, I want to go back over here, but I... I the heck, that's lava, isn't it? I want to go back over there, but I uh, I want to get out of here, too, and get some air. I'm a little bit wary of being down here in these caves. It's kind of confusing. I want to make sure we get out okay. Oh, this, there's a wreck over here. Okay, my sea moth is over this way. Okay, well, I know how to get back over here anyway, fairly easily. Okay, so yeah, we went through under there, through the trench there. We can go back over here and then come out over there. Alright, so let's... Captain. Let's go... Oh, we got some more... So there's the mushroom forest, all the way up there. Or like, all the way down below it. This is not bad. We got some good light over here. Good lighting. Alright, so I am a, a tiny bit worried about these... Uh, yeah, about that. About that exactly. That is exactly what I'm worried about, is you guys taking bites out of my sea moth. I'll tell you what, um, let's bring... Where's, where's the sub at? Dudes! Let's bring the sub over here. So it'll be southeast from the sub. A bit. We need to turn to our right, like, 90 degrees. And we should find that again. But yeah, I want, I want to bring the sub over here, so the sub's a bit closer. Just in case... Um, there are issues. Just in case. As right, so we're gonna turn...
Gotta turn to the... I think it was southeast-ish here. We can dive down a bit as well, that way we're deeper and um, we, you know, we'll be able to... If, if all goes to hell, we'll have the Cyclops here as well. Boy, oh boy, it does get dark, doesn't it? Whoa, whoa! Hello, Reefback. How you doing? <laughs> that was a little bit closer than I would have liked. Maybe the horn will clear them off, guys. That would be a great idea. Okay, yeah, right here is the wreck. You know, I can leave the floodlights on here and just have a really good time exploring out here. I can probably just park the, um... Probably just park this thing here. Be honest. Engine powering down. Power off the engine and leave the lights on. What's our power at here? We're still, like, really good, aren't we? Yeah, we're, st we're still good. We've got, still got plenty. Okay, let me grab something to eat here real quick. Now, they can... Those small guys can smack on this thing all they want, right? It's, it doesn't affect anything, I don't think. Not a big deal. Okay, so I think I'll just, uh... Head out... As I am. Not in the sea moth. And go and look a bit. You guys can smack this thing all you want. All you're gonna do is hurt yourselves. Okay, there we go. Everything's dumped off. Yeah, someone's just smacking the hell out of my... my submarine, but that's fine. Hey, what's that? Oh, is that a, um... Hold on. A light stick. That's useful. That's quite useful. Is this a grow bed? I already have a grow bed. We're good as far as that goes. So how do I get in this bad boy? To see where all the goodies are. What's this? Scan a room fragment. I have it already, but let's scan it, because why not? Light stick fragment. Oh, that's a volcano. This could be an interesting location for a base, huh? Got geothermal right over there? You know, I've got the stuff. I could make a habitat down here. I really could. Like, that's actually an option. Um, to have, you know, some secondary bases and stuff. I, I, like, a refueling station would be fine, like, out here. I mean, I, I could make the, uh, power... I, you know what? I think, guys... I think I will make a geothermal base out here on that volcano, and uh, we'll use that as a uh, power restoration station, basically, for the Cyclops and for any other power cells need to recharge. That that sounds like a good idea to me. All right, I don't... I'm, I'm sure there's a way in here, I just don't see it. I just don't see where the heck... I mean, there is that cave down there we can explore some more as well, but I, I'm sure there's a way to get in here. Like, there's always a way to get in these, you know? So surely there's one here. Grab a couple of these things here. Giant gold node there. Gold is definitely not a problem. Got like plenty of that around here. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You're trying to pull me... You... Get the hell out of here. You're trying to pull me into the damn lava. What a jerk. Oh, there's a... There's a, a PDA data box. Hey, dude. You kind of... Bone shark, huh? Just kind of chilling. I skin ya? Seems fairly docile right now. Oh no! Oh no! 
Okay. Nope. You, um... Get away there, dude. Oh, Christ, we're like... 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's okay. Things are alright. Nobody panic. Alright, seriously, there's gotta be a way in this thing that I'm just currently missing. I didn't even see what I got, by the way. I was just too busy. Have to look and see later what I got for, like, new data downloads. Maybe the way to get in here is actually through the caves. Maybe you have to go in that way. If that's the case, I'd kind of like to get the Seamoth out. Tell you what, let's go ahead and get the Seamoth out and go down that way. See how our power is doing here. It hasn't even used any yet since, like, I've checked last. It's been at 80%. So the lights do not use really much at all. It must drain it very, very slowly. Okay, well... I'd really prefer if you guys don't kill my Seamoth, but it's not the end of the world if you do. And I would really like to have a tether by these caves. I certainly can't. I don't think I can fit through here. Can I? Maybe around this side. Yeah, I can get, I can go in here a little ways. All right, well, if, if it's over here... It'll be super close by. I need my cave diving thing. Yeah, I don't have that right now. The waypoint making thing. You know, we can um, make a ghetto one here, maybe. Like, just leave something here. Something uh, shiny, like maybe that. Okay, so the salt deposit is the way out. Want to get out. The sea moth. I mean, the sea moth is out there anyway. You can see it pretty easy. That's the way out. So this is like a, a cave system. It's all scorched and stuff. I, I wonder if there are any, like... I mean, there's... There's lava around here. We're gonna do the same thing here, guys. 60 seconds, and then we're out. Gotta make sure we don't get stuck anywhere, you know? More urinite there. Okay, that good, you know, good enough. We're gonna go ahead and get some get some air here. There is no reason to push it or to rush here. Those guys don't seem to be able to enter into here, so I think I think parking the sea moth in here was wise, since they can't follow us here. That that may be like just about everything, actually. Though how you get into the uh, aurora, like I was thinking, maybe you'd go up through here. Like, you go up into the Aurora from the cave system here. Maybe that's the only way to get in. 
be a little bit crazy if so, but it wouldn't surprise me that much either. Alright, there's our salt. This thing's still good, right? Yep, still good here. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll, we'll make a base over here at that geothermal vent, and then it'll be a uh, refueling spot for our Cyclops. We can just stay here for a few days and set up a base. Primary directive to blow them away. You know, it's it's more like daytime now. I could um, I could look around a bit over here. Still don't really want to take the sea moth out there though. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a base, guys. For sure, we're gonna have a base out here. Haven't looked like as thoroughly, I guess, around here. Just thought for sure it'd be like over in here though. Oh! God, it's right here. Guys, I'm so dumb. Okay, so let's bring our sea moth over here. I don't see anybody else around right now. I think we can take our sea moth over here and they won't bother it too much. I hope anyway. So yeah, it seems like I can go in that and it doesn't really hurt too much. Right over here. Alright, you guys leave the sea moth alone now, okay? What is that's just a um, stays, I already have that, but okay. We're gonna take our time in here, guys. This is a big wreck, and I don't want to get lost in here and drown. That would be absolutely awful. But we're gonna go slow. We're gonna take our time. What is this, a chair? Already have it, okay. There is no rush. Okay, that's, that's quite confusing. Um, let me, is there anything else in here real quick before I move on? That goes out, that goes to God knows where. Yeah, over here, there's more. You'd better not be hitting my, uh... I see Moth, dude. There will be consequences if you are. Alright, so... Let me, um... Let's see, can I drop some salt or something here? That actually works out just about perfect. Where I say it there. I don't know if it'll stay there or not. Yeah, actually it might. Okay, sea moth's still okay. Nobody's nobody's biting it, right? Nah, no, we're still good. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm tempted to bring the Cyclops around this side too. Actually. Just to get a bit closer here. I think I might actually do that. Oh. Are you hitting my Cyclops? You're, like, all up on it, dude. Could you perhaps, um, kindly go away? Thanks. Better not come back, man. Oh my god, he is. He's back. Oh my god, you guys. You guys, you guys. Let's 
gonna go for it. Get in there. Can I repair it from here? No, of course. Can I repair it from down here? You would think that would be a thing you could do. Right? Yeah, we can okay, good. I thought so. That would that would make sense. Okay, guys. Well, I think I'm going to cut the episode here. Got some good stuff done this time. I'm going to look into what I can make with these rubies that we've acquired. And, um... Yeah, we'll be going into that wreck next time and proceeding deeper into this area. I'm not sure where we are, but there seems to be some good stuff around here, so... I definitely want to take full advantage of that. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I will see you next time.